What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Dylan Grubb here, the Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure you go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 17,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. That is just crazy, 17,000. Um, last week I almost gained like over a thousand subscribers. That's crazy to me, but really appreciate each and every one of you that are watching my videos. It means a ton, but today's video is actually sponsored by Carl's Bay and Tackle. I just got this month's box in the mail. I ordered a bunch of stuff off the website and I can't wait to show you what I got. If you guys don't know what Carl's Bay and Tackle is, are you guys even fishing? It's one of the best fishing websites online right now. You can literally order anything fishing related, hunting related, camping, pretty much anything you can think of. It is on Carl. Carl's Bait and Tackle. I love going on there and ordering a ton of fishing gear. That's where I get all my fishing stuff um, from Carl's Bait and Tackle. So if you guys need a new fishing website, go check it out. It's got some of the best fishing deals on the market, the hottest deals. Um, it's got every lure. I can guarantee you it's got your favorite lure on there. So go check it out and I bet it's cheaper than wherever you buy it. It's cheaper on Carl's Bait and Tackle, I'll tell you guys. But in today's video, I'm basically just doing a quick unboxing, showing you guys what I got. And I'm pretty excited to open it up and show you guys. I got some new lures that I've never really used. Um, so I can't wait for all the lakes to thaw. And hopefully I can get out on the boat soon, maybe like, maybe like two months or something. Um, it's still pretty cold here in Michigan. Um, I just got off the lake, I actually went out ice fishing, did some pan fishing out there, so it was super cool. Caught some pretty big pan fish. Um, my girlfriend Gabby caught a bunch of pan fish th too, so that was pretty cool. Her first ice fishing um, for crappies and bluegales and everything, so that was really cool. But enough talking, I'm gonna open up this box, show you guys what I got in the mail from Carl's Bait and Tackle. Well, you normally see me next to my truck doing my unboxings, but I actually just let my dad borrow my truck. Um, his truck is actually up in the shop getting reworked on and everything right now. So I let him borrow my truck just because he lets me borrow his boat. So gotta let him borrow the truck today and go pick up my mom from work, but doing the unboxing next to the good old Jeep it's funny, but today, like I said, I'm just gonna be doing a quick Carl's box unboxing. Um, I just got this in the mail not too long ago and wanted to show you guys what I got in the box. So I'm gonna open it up real quick. Just got my handy dandy pocket knife. One of my favorite knives now. I just got it from my buddy um, for Christmas. I haven't seen him in a while, so. He just gave it to me about a week ago, but opening it up and holy smokes, check it out, Blue Jays Outdoors, the good old pink. Um, if you guys haven't been watching my videos, um, I don't know what you're doing. Me and Blue Jays this year had an absolute sleigh fest on pink lures, um, pink frogs, pink drop shots. I don't even know, we caught all kinds of fish on pink lures so i just got this pink or i actually seen this pink jig on carl's bait and tackle and thought of blue jays outdoors and i had to test out this jig me and him are gonna catch some big bass on these tight rope catch co jigs so that was pretty cool i'm pretty excited to throw this one for bedding smallies and everything i think it'll be a really really cool um, lure to catch smallmouth or largemouth on so I guarantee you this pink is gonna catch us a big bass I might even get a couple more of these and give a couple to blue jays just because He's the pink master so gotta give him the pink lures, but I also got this one in the mail. I think it's called real burnt orange that one looks really good um, I'm pretty excited to throw this one too. It's a tight rope catch go jig baby firework super jig and ha it's all hand tied so it looks pretty cool i'm definitely gonna have to throw these i know the guys that make these catch some huge smallmouth bass i think over in chicago actually 
But next up, I got some fishing socks. I've never even got socks on Carl's bait and tackle, but who doesn't love socks? I figured I'd get some new fishing socks. I can wear them while I'm on the boat or when I go to the gym. I love wearing some cool design socks. And these ones have some fishing rods on them and some bass. So you know, you guys know I love bass fishing. So got to keep my feet in style. Maybe it'll be um, good luck this year. Catch a new PB bass wearing the socks. But next up, if you guys watch my channel earlier this year on St. Clair, me and my dad caught so many bass on the A rigs and I figured I would get an A rig on Carl's bait and tackle. I'm going to try this one out. It doesn't have spinners or blades on it, but you never know. Maybe this one will work good. I just figured I'd test it out. It's a Janko fishing A rig and it looks pretty good guys. It's a five arm umbrella rig. So that one is definitely going to be thrown on St. Clair this year. But next up is the old Seth Fighter Fly. And I don't know if you guys watch um, any of the big bass fishing tournaments, but Seth Fighter, um, he's a cool dude. He was actually just out on the lake fishing in a big tournament. It's, everything's live on TV. And him and Mark Zona think my voice is pretty unique. Obviously, everyone probably thinks my voice is a little funny or something, but I get it every day. You guys probably know my voice is a little goofy, but but Seth Fighter actually was talking like me on live TV. He caught a big bass. I think it was his first bass of the day. Um, I don't I don't remember if it was on St. John's but he was actually talking just like me and my accent, so that was pretty funny. Um, I really like him now that he did that, that was hilarious. But if you guys wanna check it out, it's on YouTube. You can hear Seth Fighter talking like the old extreme outdoorsman. But next up is the 10,000 fish death stalker. And this is a bait that I really wanna get better fishing. Um, the blade baits I got four of them I think and I've caught a ton of smallmouth on them um, or I guess I haven't caught a ton I've caught a decent amount of smallmouth on blade baits I got a bunch in the garage but I don't have these 10,000 fish catchco death stock um, blade baits and they look really good I really want to learn more about the blade baits and how to fish them um, so I got a bunch of these I don't know if you guys can see, but I got a bunch of them. This one's called Death Stalker Gold Tiger. So that one looks pretty unique. And the, actually, one of the biggest smallmouth I've caught was on a gold blade bait. But I haven't really thrown them a ton, so I want to learn more about it. But that one right there is called the Lemon Drop. And usually, shark truce always works good for smallmouth bass. Then this one is called Fire Tiger. Um, that one is probably going to catch a tank. It seems like they always like this or some type of fire tiger lure or color. But next up, this one's called Hitch. And it's almost like a um, goldish silver. Looks pretty good. I, I really like these two because right there it's got the big flashy blade on the back. And then it's got a hook right here on the front so it doesn't have two hooks on it in the back it has a big blade so it's going to be super flashy in the water so i'm pretty excited to throw those and also what came in the box is a carl's amazing fishing calendar 2022 edition so that is pretty cool i i, I haven't got one of these yet so it's got a bunch of different cool pictures of carl's bait or carl in here and a bunch in the hat guy actually carl's birthday is on february 26th and national have a fish fry with your friends days on march 10th so it's got a bunch of funny little days in here you guys can read them if you want but i i'm definitely going to be hanging this up in my little um office where i do all my filming have all my fishing gear but Pretty much that wraps up today's video. Just wanted to quickly show you 
these new lures that I ordered. I haven't even used any of these lures before, so I love testing out new lures, but I'm pretty excited about throwing that pink, that pink one right there. It looks phenomenal. Blue Jays is probably excited too. I can see him smiling through the screen. <laughs> but that wraps up today's video. I'm gonna get inside, go eat dinner. I haven't really ate all day. I've been out on the lake ice fishing and it is getting cold out here. It's freezing guys, I can see my breath. But gonna get inside and eat dinner, probably go watch some YouTube videos. But really appreciate you guys watching my YouTube videos. It means a ton and we will see you in the next one. Stay tuned guys.